What is going on, guys? So I am at Portland Airport, and I'm headed to Las Vegas for a business trip. And I am wanting to jump on today because uh, I have a little bit of time before my flight boards. I wanted to talk about a stock that actually one of the listeners of the channel, um, he gave me a call. He reached out to me through my website and then gave me a call. And he's super excited about this stock called Skywater. And I've been looking at it for a couple of weeks. I've had some friends look at it. Um, I've ran um, some deep research through chat GPT. I've looked at their website and I thought I would share it with you all because I think it's a very interesting stock in the stock market right now. And I'm going to go over why. So today we're going to do a deep dive into this new stock never covered before on the channel, Skywater. And Skywater actually has a connection to one of our favorite stocks in the quantum space, D-Wave. They were part of uh, the, a partner with D-Wave for fabricating uh, parts of the quantum computer. In fact, they were uh, recently connected with D-Wave's quantum supremacy claim. So let's take a look at Skywater and that connection to D-Wave. I've already gone in and highlighted uh, the most relevant parts. Uh, let's jump in. All right, guys. So what is Skywater? Skywater is a U.S.-based investor-owned semiconductor foundry, also known as a contract manufacturer that specializes in developing and manufacturing customized semiconductor chips. The company is a trusted supplier for the DoD and offers services like engineering, process development, and volume manufacturing. It's a pure play foundry. Skywater focuses solely on semiconductor manufacturing and does not design or sell chips directly. It's U.S. based. So we know that the uh, with all the tariffs lately, um, this, this also is very interesting to me that it's completely U.S. based. Skywater is a DMEA accredited trusted supplier, meaning it meets the DOD's requirement for ensuring secure and reliable chips. So audio is going to be a little bit. So audio is going to be a little bit of a challenge in uh, the airport here. There's definitely a lot of background noise and that type of thing. But I'm I'm doing my best for you. Let's take a look at Skywater Technology website. We streamline the concept to production journey. Skywater is a U.S. investor-owned semiconductor manufacturer and a DME accredited trusted supplier. So we saw that um, also in the AI overview, and let's see what technologies they have. So they do 90 nanometer and 130 nanometer process technologies. Let's look at their about page, who we are. Skywater is the only U.S. investor-owned pure play semiconductor and technology foundry. Very interesting. Um, I like that they're just right up front and keep it simple. Skywater's TAAS model streamlines the path to production for customers with development services, volume production, and heterogeneous integration solutions in its world-class U.S. facilities. We improve the world by revolutioning technology, revolutionizing technology realization. Okay, let's take a look at this article, so the connection to D-Wave, so Skywater's commercially fabricated qubits power D-Wave's landmark achievement in quantum supremacy. D-Wave Quantum, a leader in quantum computing systems, software, and services today, announced that D-Wave's advantage to a kneeling quantum computer prototype fabricated by Skywater was used to achieve computational supremacy in a quantum simulation. Through the ongoing partnership with D-Wave, which began a decade ago at the Minnesota Fab, Skywater has provided highly specialized process integration and materials engineering and thin, thin film fabrication expertise, enabling D-Wave's concepts to be realized as manufacturable devices. Additionally, with Skywater's DoD-trusted foundry status and D-Wave's pioneering leadership in quantum computing, this partnership supports 
the rapidly growing commercialization of useful quantum computing solutions while reinforcing domestic leadership in advanced computing. All right, and this is from Dr. Bratz himself, the CEO of D-Wave. We believe achieving quantum supremacy with qubits fabricated at Skywater marks a pivotal moment for the entire quantum ecosystem. Our focus has always been on scalable real world real world quantum solutions and our decade long partnership has been instrumental in achieving this milestone. In our view, this collaboration showcases the strength of American innovation and demonstrates the critical role of domestic manufacturing for maintaining global technology leadership. And I think we see a big push from the current administration to bring a lot of manufacturing back to the US. So Skywater being one of the only pure place for semiconductors in the US is even more potentially attractive than they were even a year ago. Um, Skywater is proud of our longstanding partnership with D-Wave and this unprecedented innovation in quantum computing, said Thomas Sunderman. This is an example of bleeding edge technology taking place in a 200 millimeter fab, showcasing the importance of a foundational node infrastructure here in the US. We believe that continued investment to modernize and expand domestic semiconductor manufacturing is essential to ensure that major breakthroughs like this one happen here. A national imperative for economic and at Skywater. And I've pulled up the chart here and I want to point out a few things. So first, when it was originally IPO'd, it shot up to almost $36 a couple of times before it sold off down almost to a four or five dollar position. And then it came back up to $20. It's had multiple spikes to 12, 15, 16, down to five. And then most recently here, let's take a look. I'm in the way like usual. Um, in December of 24, we saw it almost touched 20 again and then in a very sharp sell-off so very sharp sell-off since this peak here and um, let's get in a little closer let's get into five-day action so we're, we're pretty level um, and we have to recognize the overall macro has been uh, not not super good um, in the market to say the least let's look at the, the whole uh, chart again and it looks like right now skywater is holding above its all-time low um, we can see that there and um, we have this steady downtrend but if we're to believe that the market may uh, see some recovery then this is kind of the price action we saw when the whole market was going up uh, on that Wednesday when the whole market went crazy. And it's it's done a decent job holding on to um, its gains since then. So we really see that um, it's moved from that high fives, low sixes. Now it's holding that mid six position. So... What do I think? The debt is my main concern. I like the connection to D-Wave. I like the fact that it's a U.S.-based company. I like their net income continues to go up. I like their free cash flow. Um, and I like how they market themselves on their website. So I have opened a position in Skywater, and I believe that I will be adding to it um, Probably my price target is around six to seven dollars um, as a basis for this. I, I um, we can see looking at the the chart, the history. It's it's most likely not going to go below that six dollar range um, as a basis, and it has the potential in this current macro environment to increase because it is a U.S. based chip manufacturer. So. Um, if this is a new company to me. If any of you all know more about Skywater, definitely leave it in the comments. Um, this is what I love also about doing this YouTube channel. You know, I do it as a hobby, but people are really enthusiastic and sometimes they'll bring up these things to me. And of course, um, I can't cover every stock that uh, everyone wants to talk about, but Skywater was 
particularly interesting to me and has remained interesting to me. So I hope you all now see why uh, it is an interesting entry as a quantum adjacent play, but also as a play in U.S. tech that shouldn't be affected by the tariffs. All right, that's everything I've got for you all today. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope the audio is not terrible here. Um, there's been a lot of uh, background noise. Um, I'll do my best in post-production to clean that up. If I've earned a like, please consider leaving one. Have a great day.